Just can you, right, right, yeah. Well, Attila, can you, can you first describe us the day? That was a rainy day, but it was a really nice group at the front. How was it? Uh, yeah, you know, cycling is, uh, is strange. If I wouldn't uh, have got the jersey or uh, finished 15, I would say it's, uh, it's a bad day because I was suffered a lot today. And I'm really happy it turns out to, to take the jersey and uh, to, to keep uh, staying in the front. I think, uh, I don't know exactly how I finished in the stage, but I think it's my best result yet in, uh, in a, such a big event like the Giro d'Italia. So uh, in the end, it always turns out really nice. So it gives me a lot of motivation for the rest of the race. Yeah, and I would say this year, we feel really the, the confidence growing for you. It, the results are coming quickly. Yeah. Confidence is hard to get uh, when you're racing with uh, such a hard peloton with such a big names. Uh, I have to admit I still had problems with it uh, to believe that I can be the best. Uh, but then these days are help a lot. Now I now I see that uh, after four days I'm quite uh, up with the best. I will see what the, the future holds. I think I already accomplished something for the for this Giro, but I'm not done yet. Yeah, and I will anticipate a bit. You have this white jersey now. So what can you imagine for the for the rest of the race for you? Thankfully, it's not my uh, decision. It's our directors who will decide uh, what to do. Uh, as as long as I can, I, I try to defend this jersey. I try to stay uh, in the front, but we have a good leader, Rudy Molar, and uh, I still believe he has more experience. And uh, in the three weeks, he, he will have uh, less bad days than I could have. So I will try to stay close with him, and, and uh, then I will maybe try with another or two breakaways. Uh, we will see what, uh, what the race holds. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Congrats.